A sovereign AI for India, for Bharat. Not just a dream anymore. It's happening and happening now. Sarvam AI, the Bangalore startup that we at Frontpage have closely tracked in the last few months, has just been selected under the India AI mission to build India's own foundational model. A model fluent in Indian languages, voice ready and designed for population scale deployment. But while the celebrations began, the controversies weren't far behind. So is this actually finally the birth of India's open AI? Or are we missing the open part? Let's break it down for you and tell you exactly what all is coming our way. So what is Sarvam AI building? A 70 billion parameter multimodal model trained from scratch. It will support Indian languages and English as well. It will be designed for secure, sovereign and population scale AI deployments. It's being backed by Lightspeed, Peak15 and Khosla Ventures. This is not just another LLM. This is AI infrastructure for Bharat. Let's talk about the India AI Mission Partnership. Sarvam AI has been selected from 67 applicants nationwide. It will receive government-provided compute resources and will get direct support from India's AI leadership, the likes of Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself, Minister Ashwini Vaishnav and India AI CEO Abhishek Singh. This is not just a project, it's quite literally the foundation stone for India's Atmanirbhar AI ecosystem. But it's still getting public backlash. Why then? Let us tell you. Almost immediately after the announcement, questions flooded social media. Why isn't the model open source? Is public money funding private interests? Where's the transparency? Will this lead to surveillance or centralization? Critics argued that if it's sovereign, it should be open. If it's for Bharat, it should belong to Bharat. And that's when Sarvam AI came up with this clarification. Let us show you. This is not a grant. A government body will take equity in Sarvam for the compute we receive. And we are committed to building public interest use cases and enabling the ecosystem in various ways, such as hyper-optimizing the inferencing costs in India. By the way, we as a country have a long way to go in AI. This is the time to strengthen each other. Let's go. Now let's tell you what happened in the competition. They earned the selection, but not a direct grant or equity for funding deal. The priority is to build a secure, reliable and scalable foundation first and the openness will come in later. Open sourcing can happen, but needs to be balanced with national security and robustness first. So in short, sovereignty first, transparency next. So let's clear all the social media noise once and try to step back and understand what really is happening with Sarvam AI and the India AI mission. First, no, Sarvam AI is not getting 220 crore INR cash grant. In reality, what they are receiving is access to India AI's newly built GPU supercluster about 4,000 NVIDIA H100 chips for six months. And the commercial value of that access is roughly 220 crore INR. That is where this figure has come in from. But as we told you, no cash is being handed over. Second, in return for this support, Sarva AI will give equity to the government of India. That equity will likely be held by the Digital India Corporation and the entity running the India AI mission under the Ministry of Electronics and IT. The exact terms of equity conversion haven't been disclosed yet. And yes, that's something citizens are right to keep an eye on. Thirdly, the entire initiative is part of a much bigger plan. In March 2025, the government approved 10,371 crore INR outlay for India AI mission, aiming to build India's AI compute infrastructure, aiming to support startups and foster innovation at scale across India. And that is why this is not just a one-off grant. It's part of building an entire AI backbone for the country. And if you're still wondering whether the government should be funding startups, it already does. Over 10,000 crore INR has been invested by the Indian government into venture capital funds through its fund of fund scheme, anchoring early stage innovation while the private sector matures. As for Sarvam selection, it wasn't random at all. A call for proposals opened in January 2025. Around 180 plus proposals came in. Sarvam is simply the first to be shortlisted, not the only one. More announcements are expected. And let's be clear, Sarvam is not a nobody at all. It raised $41 million in Series A funding just last December. It's being backed by Lightspeed, Peak15 and Khosla Ventures. Its founders come with serious credentials and experience. One from Carnegie Mellon, another from ETH Zurich, both with deep experience in public infrastructure, in AI research, and they're noted for their role in creating digital public infrastructure, DPI, like Aadhaar. 
And if you're still wondering why this matters, let's tell you. If India has to compete with the likes of OpenAI, Google, DeepMind, China's vast AI infrastructure, then India needs serious population scale models and it needs that fast. And that's why the first step is capability. The next step is community trust. If Sarvam can deliver, India won't just be participating in the AI race anymore, in the global AI race. It will be defining the rules. And that's why we say sovereign AI doesn't mean secrecy. It means, it means strength. It means making sure India's future is shaped by Indians in Indian languages for Indian realities. But remember, sovereignty demands transparency too. And that's why the real test will not just be building the model. It will be about building trust. That is it for today's front page. For those who want a full backstory on Sarvam AI's rise, check out our previous deep dive episode. The link will be in the description below. Tell us what you think about this video and this development. Do you think India needs its own foundational model? Let's discuss. Drop your answers in the comments. For more such videos just like this, which talk about the real-time live developments from the world of tech and AI, subscribe to AIM TV. We bring to you before anybody else does. Think AI, think AIM.